Howdy howdy, my name is Larry Hendren and I will be showing you how to interact with the command prompt. I will be focusing on the commands copy, move, delete, xcopy, and rename, otherwise known as ren. First and foremost, to open the command prompt, navigate to the start menu and type cmd and press enter. This action opens the command prompt. Beginning with the copy command, which, as the name implies, copies files from the location, begin with the file that needs to be copied. I've chosen a phrase very near and dear to my heart and included it in a text file placed in my documents. For this demonstration, I'll be copying the idiot's text file to the currently empty test folder, also located in my documents. To accomplish this through the command prompt, I'll be navigating to my documents folder by typing cd documents. The cd command is a tool used to jump from directory to directory, similar to clicking an icon with a mouse. Now on the command line I will type copy idiots.txt. This has to be in quotation marks. And then to my copy destination. As we can see, one file copied successfully. The previously empty test folder now has something in it, and to no one's surprise, it's the idiot's text file I just copied. Let's move on to the move command, shall we? I will now be moving the idiot's text file to my desktop from the test folder. I go into the CMD and I use the CD to navigate to the test folder. I am already at this point, so when I'm in the correct folder, I type move then the file that I want to move, idiots.txt, and then the destination, which would be my um, desktop. Take great care to spell everything correctly here, as misspellings will lead you to have to do it all over again. And there we have it. And we just saw it before our very eyes. Idiots.txt moved to my desktop, top left of the screen. Moving on to the delete command, which deletes files from the CMD, return to the command prompt and type DEL, then quotations, and then the file you want, the full file path, that is, of the thing you want to delete. I will be deleting the idiots text file. and it is gone. So that is delete. Simple enough. Moving down the list to xcopy now and bring in the idiot's text file back from the dead here. Probably should have done these in an order that makes sense. I also got a fresh command prompt screen. Along with bringing idiots.txt back, I created a new folder that I'll be using for xcopy. To xcopy something, go into the command prompt and navigate to the proper folder using the CD or just type the whole directory. After you've navigated to the proper folder, type xcopy, then the file name, assuming you're in the right folder that is, and then the location you want it to. I will be moving it to this folder, literally. And you saw firsthand that this folder just got its first inhabitant. And there's the idiot's text folder. Okay. And now the difference between copy and xcopy is that xcopy has additional switches added to um, uh, have greater detail over the destination and the source. Moving right along to the rename function or rin, go to the cmd and type rin then the folder that you want to change, well, the file you want's name changed, and then the name you want to change it to. I'll be changing it to my favorite word, dinguses, and then it is done right there. Uh, idiots.txt has changed into dinguses.txt, and that's all there really is to know about rename. Pretty simple.
And that is the end of my video. I have shown you how to copy, move, delete, xcopy, and rename any file through the command prompt. And of course I'm going to read the quote I've been hiding this whole time. Any place that gets its last by pretending to be idiots will eventually attract actual idiots who believe they're in good company. Just one more reason to keep it classy. Thanks for watching. This is Larry.